The Russians are finished at Mariupol. Now it's behind them. They can choose now to move their forces to the north to get on with the bigger side of the offensive. And we can see what they're trying to do. They're concentrating their forces, their men and equipment, in smaller groups so that they can attack more intensively in small areas. They're taking smaller bites, mini bites, out of the big territory of the Donbass that they're seeking to control. And we can see where that's happening. At uh, Valika Novosilka, for instance, the Russians have been dug in for quite a long time. Now they're moving out. They're moving westwards and eastwards, trying to actually extend their front. At Popasna, particularly Popasna, that was high ground that they took a couple of weeks ago. Didn't do anything with it. But now they're trying to move out to the northwest and the southwest of Popasna in order to make some breakthroughs. And most important of all, at Sverodonetsk, that is the key to Luhansk. That's the northern, the smaller region within this whole Donbass uh, area. The Russians are on three sides of Sverodonetsk. Uh, they've tried a couple of times to get round the whole of it, get round to the west. They, those operations were a complete fiasco a couple of weeks ago. They will undoubtedly try again. And in the meantime, Sverodonetsk is in the middle of an intense bombardment and it's getting more intense all the time. Not least, the Russians are counterattacking in Kharkiv. Last week in Kharkiv, the uh, uh, Ukrainians were able to liberate the city. That was a great victory for them. But the Russians are counterattacking, not to take Kharkiv again or to retake it, but actually to stop the Ukrainians getting in behind them, being able to cut their communications. And so that's where the fighting is presently going on. We can see what the Russians are trying to do. We can see their tactics. We're not so sure about Ukrainian tactics. So far, the Ukrainians have gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Russians, defending every area that they possibly can. They may not be able to continue to do this. They may have to give ground. And what they may find is that it makes more sense to pull back to more defensive positions and then try to launch a more strategic counterattack. I guess by the end of this month, we'll know what the answer to their question is. However, so far, though the Ukrainians have done incredibly well in this war, incredibly well, the fact is, before too much longer, they will have even more intensive fighting to engage in.